The Export Market Development Grants Program can support representative bodies that are helping their members become ready for export or helping them to expand and diversify their export activities. Representative bodies can use a grant for international marketing and promotional activities that benefit their small and medium enterprise members. They can also use EMDG to provide export training to upskill their SME members. In this video, we'll outline the main criteria your organisation must meet to be considered eligible for a Round 4 Export Market Development Grant. First, what does Austrade consider a representative body? The EMDG rules say your organisation must promote the interests of a group of Australian businesses that are considered members. Your members can either represent a single industry or a substantial part of an industry, or they can come from more than one industry. But the number of your members must represent a significant proportion of their industry. Also, a substantial number of these members must be exporting or ready to export eligible products. Your organisation must also have a memorandum of incorporation or articles of association or a constitution that confirms that you are a representative body. And you must be a not-for-profit, which brings us to the must-nots. Being a not-for-profit means you must not distribute income to your members or to other shareholders. And for EMDG purposes, you can't export EMDG eligible products, or at least exporting them isn't one of your primary activities. Do you fit the eligibility criteria so far? Well, there are still a few more practical requirements. When you apply for EMDG, you must have a valid Australian business number. You must also be considered an eligible Australian person. And as the EMDG rules say, that means your organisation is either a partnership that is Australian, a body incorporated under the Corporations Act, an association or a cooperative that is incorporated under Australian law, or a trust that is Australian, that is the trust or each trustee is an Australian person, or a body corporate established under an Australian law. To find out more about what makes an organisation an eligible Australian person, read the EMDG guidelines. They're on the website. So there are some more eligibility requirements for representative bodies. For example, if you're applying for a grant to undertake marketing and promotions, they must benefit your SME members. And the Act says an SME is a business with an annual turnover below $20 million. If you've received an EMDG before, the promotional activities you're undertaking also must be new activities. You must show us how you'll take a substantially different approach to your marketing and promotion. You could be promoting to new foreign markets or promoting members' new products or services or innovations. Or your new approach could be to support new SME members. It's important you can demonstrate to us what's new about your plans. And for Austrade to assess that, you must include the details in a high quality plan to market. All representative body applicants planning to use their grant for marketing and promotional activities must produce a plan to market. Your plan to market must be specific to your organisation too. You can't copy from another representative body or another EMDG application, from the sample or from a generic marketing plan. For best results, go to the Austrade website, get the representative body plan to market sample and answer all the required questions. If you're providing export training to your members, you must provide a high quality export training plan. Again, this must be entirely specific to your organisation. It can't be copied from anywhere else. Details you must include in your plan are outlined in another sample document, the Representative Body's Export Training Plan sample. We strongly advise you to go to the Austrade website, download the sample and answer all the questions. To be eligible for a grant, the EMDG rules say that you must be tax compliant. 
you can't have any outstanding disqualifying convictions or be under insolvency administration. And you must act ethically and professionally always. Finally, you must show you can match any grant funding you receive because EMDG is a matched grant. This means if you receive $30,000 from EMDG for training or marketing or both, you must contribute an additional $30,000 of your organisation's own money to fund those activities. And your contribution can't be money from another government grant either. If you're confident you may be eligible for EMDG, we recommend you get ready to apply well in advance. Check out the other videos that can help you get ready or read more on the Austrade website.